What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you for my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I know I said I was going to bring you guys this video since, I don't know, <laughs> sometime last year. But anyways, I've been like moving stuff around. I've been upgrading things. I've been um, everything, doing a lot of things since I moved in. There are no decorations. I'm going to there's one thing I'm gonna work on decorating next so look for another update um, so yeah this is a tour of my junk junk journal exclusive craft room because the only thing I do is junk journaling I might do a couple of other things I'll show you along the way but everything basically ends up in a junk journal so this is the space that I have it's actually really big um, it is actually the living room and dining room area. And I'm um, like, yeah, uh, that's my space. So this is now my office where I do my um, designing for junk journal printables as well as where I keep everything for when I make junk journals. So let me show you around. So first, um, here on my wall of shelves, <laughs> uh, this first container, uh, well, this is some decor that I'm going to get to, but anyways, in here is, um, all the book innards, all the book pages that are left after we cut open a book for a junk journal. So, um, as you can see, I'm working my way through those. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next to that, I have uh, this little shelf that um, my mom left me. <laughs> she left it behind, and I kind of grabbed it and dragged it in here. Um, this container just has random scraps of fabric that don't fit anywhere else. Here is some cardstock and colored paper. There is a poster in here that I'm supposed to hang up. And some more decor that I haven't put away exactly. Okay, so here is my shelves of fabric. As you know, for junk journals, we need to have quite a bit of fabric. I, I have a lot of choices here. Um, I use a lot of uh, thrift shop uh, bed sheets. So as you can tell, um, I get a lot of fabric, and I do end up selling fabric samples. I have a couple left in my shop. Um, so yeah, so that <clears throat> is my fabric stash. I'll be adding to it once this whole quarantine is over and I can make, go buy more fabric. <laughs> okay, so this is basically, uh, my shipping station slash all the mystery boxes that I have in my shop. If you follow my channel, you know all about my mystery boxes. This is where I keep them. Um, on the top shelf here I have printer paper, some green printer paper. Um, white cardstock and craft colored cardstock. Uh, here next to that is uh, all my shipping stuff basically my tissue paper, some envelopes, um, my scale, uh, shipping, packaging, photo paper that I have to use. This right here is packing paper, which I use in my junk journals, as you guys know. Um, and then everything else here is shipping, of course. Here's some glossy paper I have to use up. And there's some coffee dye paper there. These right here are a bunch of tests. Um, anytime that I design something, I will print it out just to make sure that it is um, all colorful and the way it needs to be before I put it up for sale. And I end up putting the pages here. And uh, once in a while, I'll have enough that I'll sell <clears throat> sample pack so just like random printouts once in a while I'll have that too um right now I don't have any left but um this container here I bought a lot of containers from Ikea I know this one's from Ikea um this is where I keep some envelopes some small envelopes and the plastic bags that I put some of my stuff in that is empty, that's sold out. This right here is all the Christmas die cuts that I still have plenty of them left. Um, all my mystery boxes in my store are 50% off right now, you guys, so do take advantage if you can. In this container right here, we have all of the junk journals that I have currently posted up for sale. So here are some of the index card mystery boxes that are in my shop. I sew pieces of fabric um, onto index box, index card. <laughs> I have my bingo cards there and my botanical images there. Again, the junk journals are not for sale. These are my um, Victorian Life die cuts. So those are there. 
that's something I have not posted up for sale. And that is my empty container of flower die cuts that are pretty much sold out. So that is that shelf. I know I got this shelf at like Walmart a long, long time ago for like 40 or 50 bucks. It's really not the best quality, um, but it does the job. So the next uh, shelf here <laughs> is pretty tall. Actually, as you can see, nothing in my uh, craft room is actually really tall. Everything is actually down low. And that is because I'm very short. So I don't want to be reaching up for anything. If I have to reach up for any, something, it's probably something I don't use. Those things up there, I actually have to have my husband bring them down for me because I cannot lift them. I cannot take them down. Uh, so in that fresh blueberries container is actually um, lace, like pieces of lace, scrap lace. It's all just bags and bags of lace that I have to get through. Um, that container right there has stamps that I rarely use, honestly. I have to dig through them and see what it is that I even have myself because I don't really touch stamps. Um, this right here on the second shelf is my fabric uh, scrap stash. These right here actually serve a purpose. These I need to get ready for sale. They're actually going to be really small pieces. I have been selling pounds and pounds of scrap fabric packs and as you can tell I could still uh, shed a couple more pounds. <laughs> um, right here next to that I have my um, bucket of hot glue and hot glue sticks if I decide to do something with that. Here's a bucket that I had since the last time that I did <laughs> A scrap room tour it's just stuff that I need to get to and I just have not since <laughs> gotten to it anyways <laughs> um, this uh, container here has a bunch of books that I can rip the pages out of or that I can use to collage or that I can use to make like envelopes out of etc um, back there in the very back are vintage books that I could actually um, make into junk journals. Um, this little black container here has fabric that has already been backed with heat and bond and backed with uh, packing paper. Um, and then here we have um, heat and bond scraps um, and again other fabric that's already been processed and just a lot of heat and bond scraps really. Um, back there you'll see a uh, container of sandwich bags. I use a lot of sandwich bags to um, organize and you'll see coming up. Here is my huge stash of little golden books. I was going crazy for these last year and I still have so many to go through. <laughs> I have these little hanging um, buckets. These are from Ikea. I don't know what they're called. I'll leave the uh, link down below to or at least the names of everything um, from Ikea. I have a lot of Ikea stuff so that's what those are. These are just some of those um, fabric pieces that I use um, that are already backed with paper and heat and bond. Um, and this one right here I have the little labels that I use on my junk journals as well as whenever somebody makes a purchase I put in this little promo card just saying thank you. Um, okay let me come to this shelf right here. Let me move these out the way. So in this shelf right here I have my Big Kick, Sizzix Big Kick, um, and then these two containers right there are all Christmas related stuff. So Christmas, anything Christmas related that I have goes in here. I don't really have anything else separated by theme except for Christmas. So I have Christmas right there. Um, here is some Peltex, some felt Peltex, which is basically felt that's adhesive on one side. This is regular felt. Um, on top of this little container that I got at the thrift shop a long time ago, I have all my We Are Memory Keepers punch boards, envelope punch board, mini punch board, uh, tag uh, maker, as well as my um, scoreboard, mini scoreboard. Next to that, in a really dusty pencil container, are these are some die cut shapes um, in different colored papers that I can use if I want to. And these are paper and mulberry flowers, like 3D flowers if I decide to use those. I really don't, but if I feel the need, there they are. And in this container right here, it has two drawers. The first drawer is full. <laughs> 
chock full of laces that I really need to get through. These are all the laces that I have a lot of. Like I said, up there are all the lace scraps. But here are all my nice large lace pieces. I do have some ribbon in here. Um, but yeah, this is, <laughs> and I also have some trims that I've made on my channel. This is some lace trim, lace trim, and I know I have some other trims. This is another trim I made. And here's some paper trim also that I have to work through. So that is this drawer. The second drawer, I actually organized <laughs> the other day. I've been trying to clean up my craft room, you guys don't even know. But I've been going literally like after one drawer, I kind of stop for the day. So it's been quite a process, quite a long process to get this organized. So here I have some very, very large pieces of lace that I need to go through. Um, it's a couple layers thick there. <laughs> um, here's some ribbon as well as some seam binding tape. Here's some other material cord that I could use to tie tags and etc. Um, here's some other trim. Some appliques, some like little lace appliques, some more lace, uh, some more seam binding tape. These are crochet like flowers and uh, doilies that I have right there. Some baker's twine, some really wide lace that I bought from Amazon. That was a good buy. Um, all kinds of different colored uh, twine, baker's twine. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I do kind of have a thing for baker's twine, so I do have quite a bit of it. Uh, here's some beaded trim, uh, more beaded trim, beaded trim that I got to get through. I have a lot of supplies to get through. I am ready for I was ready for this quarantine a long time ago, you guys. <laughs> I've been ready. Uh, on the very bottom shelf, I have this filing thing, which I just noticed is so dusty. Sorry about that. I didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> But anyways, this one is my 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I really have not purchased any more scrapbook paper. I'm still going through this stash right here, which I bought when I was scrapbooking. And since I don't do that anymore, now it's all um, for the junk journals. There's some glitter paper in the back. I love it. These are my smaller paper pads, um, 6 by 6 and then 8 by 8. These are the 12 by 12 paper packs that are basically the last pages um, left. Um, this right here is my um, scrap stash. Everybody has a scrap stash <laughs> and this happens to be mine. I have it basically um, organized like this. Let me show you. So that container right there is cardstock. So any cardstock scraps go in there. So that's all cardstock. This container here is full of scraps that are cut straight, so perfectly straight lines. Sometimes a project calls for that, and sometimes a project calls for this bag right here, which this bag is pretty much ripped up scrap paper, book paper, anything that I can grab and rip up. Um, also some printed ephemera that I have in my shop that I like to collage with. So. That's how I organize those scraps. Hope that helps you. <laughs> okay, and then I have this um, other bookcase, which I'm pretty sure I got this at a thrift shop a long, long time ago. It's a very sturdy, very sturdy shelf, very heavy. Here I have some random stuff that I need to work through. This is a junk journal that I did for a giveaway that I gotta give away still. Um, some sandpaper. These are some book covers that I did recently, and I think that's for my scan and cut. So that's what's in this basket. Just random decor stuff that I still haven't arranged. Some extra Antonius trays, which I'll show you in a minute how I use. And my camera tripod there, kind of stuck in the corner. <laughs> Here I have my, um, what is this thing called? Crocodile 2 or something. Yeah, Crocodile 2. Comes in handy when I do eyelets and when I do tags, punch in the holes. Here, this container, I want to show you guys. Um, this is where I keep, I don't even know how to call it, but it's where I keep a lot of junk journal supplies. Let me show you guys. Let me go through it a little bit, just as easy as I can with one hand. I have tickets here. I have timesheets. These are all paper bags. 
These are all doilies in different sizes, different shapes, different colors. I made these dividers myself. They're made from this one piece of cardstock that was already shaped like this from uh, Michaels and then a craft colored cardstock at the bottom. I made those a long time ago as well. These are some, these are just things I can use for junk journals. Um, some rub ons. Let's see what else is here. These are Tyvek envelopes and um, some cheesecloth that I can use to do something with. Let's see what else. I have some wallpaper and these are some player cards. This is my stash of napkins. One of my stashes. I'll show you the other one. My stash of napkins there. And then these are Easter die cuts that I actually have not listed up for sale and have not done anything with. Shame on me. But they are there. These are um, manila shipping tags that I just got from Amazon. Good deal. I'll link those down below if you guys are looking for tags. These are such a good deal. Okay, so then we come to the second shelf here. The second shelf has this really awesome book that I like for work. Um, and here are basically <laughs> where all my junk journals go to die if I abandon them. I'm not going to lie. Some of these are messed up. Some of them are upside down. Some of them are actually gifted to me. And uh, some of them I just for some reason worked in and never finished. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about this drawer right here. <laughs> okay, so this one right here, this drawer, or this little um, basket. I use a lot of baskets. So my basket here is full of uh, die cuts. So these are die cut sets and sandwich bags, die cut sets all over the place you guys um i have kind of a, a thing for buying die cuts and kind of just tossing them in here <laughs> yeah shame on me so that's my um die cut stash <laughs> collection uh here i don't even know what's in this this is kind of needs to be reorganized there's just some books some cardstock some notebooks some large glue sticks that one's kind of a mess this one is where i keep um the plastic envelopes that I use to make my junk journal kits. Sometimes it's a little bit easier for me to make kits for myself so that I can just pull one out and make a junk journal. But I have not done that in a minute. Okay, so next to this wall, next to this wall as you guys saw, now we're over here, we did that. And so now we come to where my brass cog <laughs> cart, I labeled it for you guys. Um, like I said, I'll leave everything down below of Ikea that I used. Um, this is my Razcog cart. And basically, it has almost everything that I need to make a junk journal physically. Um, like the cover of it. Minus the packing paper that's over here. But, um, this has everything that I need to make a junk journal. So, here at the top, I have paper clips. These are my giant paper clips, which I love. I have a ruler, I have this spatula thing, I have my, sorry, one-handed, <laughs> I have my uh, Tim Holtz Mini Tracher, which I love, I use that all the time, I have glue, everything here is kind of a bunch of tools, um, there's really no rhyme and reason here, there's really no organization, I kind of just stick tools in these compartments here. I have a bunch of the cups over here. This thing that it sits on is actually from Ikea too, but I think it's like a kitchen item. I got it at a thrift shop. So a bunch of tools here, tape, seam cutters, more glue, more measuring tape. Um, yeah, it's just like a bunch of tools here at the top. Here on the side, I have uh, my button for Team Adore. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I have my scissors for fabric. And on this side right here hanging, I have a magnetic hook. And on there, I put my cutting board because it has a hole in it. And I also put my lint roller uh, right there because it just kind of fits. Um, on the second uh, shelf drawer, whatever you want to call it, shelf, I guess, I have my pack of heat and bond. I have this um, Sizzix uh, plate that I actually used to cut whenever I cut fabric. 
Um, this is my really old, disgusting Martha Stewart uh, scoreboard that I've been using forever. There is a scoreboard slash trimmer and something that shouldn't be in there. Down here in the last shelf, I just have my iron and my um, desktop iron board, I guess. And that is my little rascal cart. And whenever I am going to work on a junk journal, I just grab it and I roll it on over here next to my workstation. So my chair would be right there next to it and I would be working. Um, but of course, when I'm not, I can roll it away and put it in a corner where it doesn't bug anybody. Okay, so next to that <laughs> is Ambu. Uh, Ambu's uh, little jungle gym here that he loves to use. He'll get up there and look out the window or he'll get up there and just stalk me. <laughs> That's where he hangs out also. He has a couple hangout spots. And this right here, you guys, is my wall of uh, ephemera, my wall of basically the idea of it is, is I'm working right here. And when I want to grab something, it's right behind me. So everything here is pretty much ready to go in a junk journal or ready to be decorated to go in a junk journal. And um, <sighs> let me go through, <laughs> let me go through this. Um, I use these trays right here. They are called, if one would lift up, hang on, sorry. Sorry, you gotta look at this dove. Oh my God, I can't take it out. Anyways, <laughs> I use these trays. They are from Ikea. They are called Antonius Trays. Again, I'll leave a link down below. And they're about $5 each. They're made out of plastic. Can't say they're the best material. Don't put anything too heavy in them. But if for something light, um, they work. Um, and actually, these shelves, you guys, I got them on Amazon. Uh, I'm not really happy about the quality, but, you know, it is what it is. Nothing here is heavy, so... They'll stay in one piece. Okay, so let me go through what I have here. Oh, yeah. And I put these beautiful doilies up on my window just as a thing. I have more to put up, but it's a little thing I'm trying to do, trying to figure out something to do with my curtains. Okay, so big boy says hi. Okay, so here is uh, this chair right here. I just went over this um, last night. I went over all these trays and organized them, if you guys can believe it. Yes, I did. This is my tray of journaling cards. So these are all the journaling cards that I finished. Um, collage cards. These are also little file folders here that I made in the past. Um, and basically the idea is that if I need it, it's, this card, this, this, uh, tray right here, I don't need to have on my table because I don't need journaling cards all the time. But whenever I do need one, I can roll, just turn around and grab one. <laughs> I also have project life cards in here. A lot of project life cards. Um, so yeah, that's that tray. This tray right here has pockets and tuck spots and um, some botanical images that I can just glue down. So any pockets that I've made, any tuck spots that I made, that's actually, yeah, that's a pocket. So that goes in here, different types of pockets, just all sorts of things <laughs> that can be used as a uh, tuck or a pocket go in there. Um, this next tray right here, this one is exciting. <laughs> excuse me, my nose. This tray right here is uh, embellishments. These are all embellishments that I have finished. So, you know, like uh, floral embellishments. These embellishments I'll work on later. So these are like a, like a work in progress. These are these embellishments that I make from one piece of paper and some numbers, a piece of paper and a word. There's, and these are banners that I've made, so I have a lot of banners. Um, there's just a lot, of, a lot of embellishments here. Every single one of these is an embellishment that can go on a page. So I'm really excited about that stash that I have. Um, these are all tags that I have made. Uh, most of these are ready to go. Some of them are not. Um, <laughs> kind of embarrassing. I put together about 10 packs of cards. There was a dozen cards in each pack. So that's 120 um, 
tags, you guys. And these are what I have left. So I still have like, I don't even know how many, like 50 tags left. <laughs> okay, so these are the tags I'm working on. Sorry about the lights from um, outside. There's plants and I guess there's some wind right now. Okay, so this um, tray right here is all tags that um, I'm working on. So these ones right here need the hole on them. These ones right here need to be decorated plus the hole. There's a lot of tags in here that I've been working on making. Um, yeah, so these are my work in progress tags. And then these are some blank tags that I can further decorate. Okay, so here is um, my tray of index cards. So I have a bunch of index cards here that I can use. And then I have some index cards there that are, are in progress. Um, I don't think any of these are done. These are all in progress. Some index cards that I have in my collection, more index cards. Those are all index cards. Here is some more work in progress. Um, these envelopes. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them because I think the paper cracked on some of them, so I haven't decided on what to do. Anyways, this is all work in progress. This right here is a tray of tissue. So <laughs> I actually sandwiched it between another tray so that way they didn't fly away. Um, but those are all tissue uh, napkins that I have cut up into different pieces for this project actually right here. This is what I do with them. Um, this right here is more in progress uh, projects. <laughs> These are some scrap journals that I put together. Um, I've decorated three of them, and I still have three of them to decorate. These are little pockets that I made from all my scrap cardstock pieces. Um, so they're all there, and there's some more in the back that i got to work on. This tray right here is um, uh, stuff to make, like, little collages or stuff that I could just glue onto a page. These are other company um, die cuts and ephemera such and such okay so the next tray over from that one is my tray of printables so these are a bunch of printables from my shop envelopes jars which uh, a bunch of ephemera whatnot everything is in here this is all from my shop my own design that goes there this tray right here is full of stuff that I can use to make the collages that I like to make. These are a bunch of little labels from all the kits that I've made, so all the little things. These are a bunch of printables that I made really, really teeny tiny small on cardstock. These are actually usually half an 8.5 by 11 big. Um, let me pull this out so you guys can see it more. Here I have a bag full of uh, those paper strips I like to make, that I like to incorporate in my um, collages. These are for some banners that I made not too long ago. Small words, big words, stamps, um, banner shapes I cut out, small little vintage photos that I have in my shop. Not right now, but I'm sorry. Sometimes I do have them. Okay, so these are vintage stamps right here. These are vintage, uh, like, um, advertisements, vintage tickets, and a bag of die cuts. So those, uh, this is basically what I pull out if I'm going to be making little collage clusters, etc. And what I like about these trays is I could just take this out, put it on my table, and then once I'm done, just put everything back in the tray and put it back where it belongs. So that makes it quite easy to clean up. <laughs> right here I have um, just sticker books that I can just turn around and grab. These are different post-its that I have uh, to glue on pages. So again, that just stays literally right behind me. So if I feel like adding a sticker, just turn around and grab one. Um, this is my tray of envelopes, um, different types of envelopes that I made, mini envelopes, envelopes to be decorated, envelopes that I made from book paper, envelopes to be put together, uh, little coffee dyed envelopes, envelopes in that tray. This tray right here is all my vintage stuff. So all the vintage ephemera, the actual vintage ephemera that I have, goes in this tray. Whenever I feel like adding something special to a book, I just pull it out. This is my tray of die cuts. So all my floral die cuts from my shop, 
all the Victorian life paper cuts from my shop. Um, those ones, floral, a bunch of die cuts that I have there. This chart right here is actually full of papers that could go into a signature that I have to organize better. This tray right here is full of different types of cards that I can um, embellish on and alter. And that is basically, oops, sorry, that is basically my wall of ephemera and everything that I have that is pretty much ready to go into a journal or ready to be decorated. So that's where that goes. Sometimes I'll put stuff here to sort through it so that I can see it and not have it all over my table. Um, so that's why these are here. And now we've basically come to my desk area. Let me show you this back here first. Um, on the opposite side of all these, like I said, don't look at my messy kitchen, <laughs> is uh, this, these containers here. This container, obviously, as you can see, is over, overflowing with uh, boxes, <laughs> a bunch of uh, product boxes <laughs> that I've gone through to, through uh, quarantine. This is a Starlight um, container. I got it from Walmart years and years ago. It has my quilt pieces. So I do make crazy quilts, but I make them for junk journal covers, basically. So my crazy quilt pieces, they're all here. These are all a work in progress. This drawer here is a bunch of stuff. These are ones that are finished and just a bunch of journals here that... Um, have gotten forgotten. It happens. Here are more uh, <laughs> scrap pieces that I actually have to organize better. They're kind of just tossed in there. It's a mess in here, but um, yeah, that's what that is. Here is uh, one of my newest purchases. I bought this, I want to say a couple of months ago, like at least two or three months ago now. Probably more than that, but um, I bought this file cabinet. It's actually more of a mauve color. I don't know how it shows up on camera. It's like a mauve color, mauve taupe type of color. I would have gotten a black one if I had really thought about it. But in here, basically I have all the pages and paper that could go into a junk journal. So coffee dyed paper and coffee dyed scrap pieces that I have to do something with. Um, here's some lined paper that I can use, all different types of lined paper. More lined paper. Uh, this is a scrap of paper that I've cut down to 8.5 by 11 size. Book paper, book paper, matte paper, different types of book papers, more book papers. And some of that shaped cardstock I told you guys about that I made those dividers with. And I don't know about you guys, but this used to jump off all the time, and so I put some hot glue there. <laughs> And uh, that fixed it. Sorry if you saw my house shoes. Um, I'm in the house. <laughs> okay, so this is the bottom drawer. This is my um, st <laughs> my secret hoard of um, Franken papers that I have. So I have a bunch of Franken papers here. I have so many scraps, you guys. So I make a lot of Franken papers. Here's some Christmas Franken papers that I'm going to use up during Christmas time. Um, and here's some uh, Franken paper that's on cardstock that I'm gonna cut up for tags. I just have to do it. <laughs> this is some paper here that I have decoupage napkins that I gotta figure out what to do because I was gonna make these into envelopes, but the paper is too frail, so that sucks. Uh, printables that I gotta cut through. Uh, more printables I gotta cut through, and more scrapbook paper that's cut down to eight and a half by eleven, so I can print on the back of it. Um, so that's what's in that drawer. Let me go over to this drawer. This is an Alex drawer from Ikea. I made sure to label it. <laughs> um, and this is what sits next to me when I do my live shows. Um, so this has a couple more tools that I like to keep nearby. I don't have any wall space behind my desk or even around my desk. So everything has to be in um, drawers and in trays and baskets and stuff like that and I actually also I don't like cabinets I like to see everything that I have out otherwise I forget that I have it so that's why I have so many shelves <laughs> okay so in this uh, drawer again this is Ikea drawer Alex um, I have an extra lamp here that I used to use and now I don't 
These are some greeting cards that I've been sent with some um, goodies that people have sent me. Some nice, nice people. These are binder clips. These are those um, little bulb paper clips, gloves, just different little office things. Um, planner. Back here I have like pencils and like stamps and a regular staple because sometimes you need a regular staple. Not a tiny staple. <laughs> okay, second drawer is full of um, my favorite paper clips that I love to use. Um, those are some pens and some other different types of paper clips. This is my bag of charms that I use sometimes when I make charms for the journals. Um, different types of tapes there and a mallet, you know, just in case somebody breaks in. I'm just kidding. But I, I use this um, when it comes to pounding the corners and the metal corners into my books. Um, so that's why I have that there. <laughs> I have some eyelets here and these containers are called uh, Lockables by Craftmates. They sell them at Joann's. I don't know about Michael's, but I've seen them at, at Joann's specifically. I used to work at a store and they used to let me order these at wholesale price, so I paid very, very little for these. Just a couple of bucks each. So I have a couple of their configurations and a couple of their things. Those are the book corners I told you about. Again, more tape. I like to, I use a lot of tape for my um, scan and cut, which you can see here. My scan and cut just kind of sits on top of this drawer, and whenever I need it, I can either use it here, or I can move it to another table top. Um, okay, so here I have some more charms, and here we have more charms and beads. I really don't use charms and beads, but whenever I do feel like playing with them, they're there, and I have the tools and everything to work with them. I just kind of don't. Okay, so this drawer right here is kind of a, it's kind of a mess. This is definitely <laughs> one of those drawers. In the back, I have all of my punch collections, which I don't have that many, but I do have quite a few, and they all kind of live back there. Um, here, I have um, some brads. I have uh, batteries. I have my tiny attacher refills, which I love. My tiny attacher. Uh, batteries, needles that I haven't used in a while, these little cups that I use for my glue and paints, Velcro, and these little sponges which I don't use anymore because I have upgraded to these silicone brushes. So I have a couple of these silicone brushes here extra just in case. <laughs> I like to buy stuff that comes in a, in a lot. So I have those brushes and I have these seam binding rippers which I know I'll lose eventually. Bag of rubber bands. These are the needles for my scan and cut up here. Uh, these, this is the um, paints that I have basically. I don't have that many paints, but I do have a couple. Some bottles for when I want to make a little bottle of glue. And a glue stick. And my Tim Holtz thingamajiggy. What is that called? The blender tool. And I also have a thing of embossing powder here and my Versamark. So that's what lives in this drawer. Okay, this drawer right here is um, my thread. I keep them in these thread boxes that I got at Walmart. And they just so happen to fit two by two, but I only have three of them. So I just bought enough to fit basically my collection of thread, which I bought on Amazon, which that set, specific set, is not there anymore, I just noticed. Um, but I did have a couple of them before that happened. My extra needles for my sewing machine. My bobbins go in here. That's that ruffler I bought that I uh, have not learned how to use. <laughs> and these are all the um, sewing machine tools and extras that have come. I have had a couple, several sewing machines, so I have a nice... A healthy stash and this is extra bobby pin container so that is how I house my thread in this drawer. This last drawer is kind of just a bunch of extra stuff that I don't really use but um, my glue sticks which I can't put anywhere else I do use these a lot. I don't really use these alcohol inks. I have big thing of white glue, big thing of black glue, uh, glue, paint, <laughs> white paint, black paint, two glue, uh, extra glue um, of my favorite glue, Turbo Tacky Glue. I love that glue. 
these paints I found in the backyard. I don't even know if they're good, but I'm going to try them. <laughs> I have my uh, ATG tape gun, which I never use anymore. I used to when I scrapbook. Um, my heat gun and some, I think these are for some, I don't know, for some stuff. <laughs> I can't even remember what that's for. And this is where I record my videos. Um, I will need to make an updated record setup um, video. I have one camera that faces down and that is on a microphone stand with a special attachment. I'll link everything down below. I have a video on my setup. It is practically the same, except I did not have two cameras back then. So now I have two cameras. One of them sits on this microphone stand that clips onto the desk. That's my microphone. That's my second camera. This is my first camera that faces down. This is the camera where you see my little face in. And um, I recently got this monitor stand. It makes my it makes me look like all sorts of crazy, but. <laughs> It's so I can see the monitor and I have nothing on my table. I used to have a monitor on my table. It used to take up a lot of space. So now I have my whole table that's clear. Um, this table is from Ikea. It is no longer in their shop though. I looked it up. It's not there. It's whatever this, <laughs> whatever, however you pronounce this, that's what this table is from Ikea. This table is again no longer available. I got it like two years ago. This is actually a dining room table. Um, I decided a while ago, well actually when I first started drug journaling, um, I had a dining room table, like an old dining room table that I bought like off of somebody on Craigslist. <laughs> and um, when I was looking for desks, I you know, I was looking for the desks and then I was like, you know what? My craft room, I actually have a dining room table and I noticed Dining, well, at least this dining room table was a lot wider than the desks that they had at Walmart at Walmart at Ikea. So I said, obviously, I need a dining room table for my main craft desk. So this is the only dining room table that I have in my house, and it is my craft desk. <laughs> so, yeah, again, that is where I craft. This is where um, usually my sewing machine sits. I usually have this monitor on, or I'm spoiled. I can have that TV on, too. Um... And uh, do my little show right here. I have a package from Amazon to open. Lucky me. Um, my lighting, I use these two lamps. I have that lamp and then another one over here. Those are from Walmart. I'm definitely going to have to um, upgrade that. So probably look out for a new How I Film uh, setup video. That's coming up soon. Okay, so now we move on to my um, workstation. This is where I do my graphic design. This is where I design everything, where I um, do all my computer stuff basically for my work. Um, I have my um, my printer, which is an Epson ET2750. I've had that for at least two years now, which I'm surprised that they usually only last me a year. Um, these are the inks that um, go with it. These are bills. These are two, three <laughs> junk journal covers that I never did anything with, so uh, those are to come. These are some things that I'm going to post up to the shop at some point. I'm still working on it. These are the latest printables that I have designed. Again, I print them out. i got to test them. Um, I have an iPad there in case I don't feel like flipping that monitor over. I have an iPad. This container here has a bunch of colored lace, which I, again, I used to make my trim. Um, and I'm going to work on that. That's why it's nearby. And uh, yeah, this is also where I play my video games. I actually, there's one video game that I play, Fallout 76. And um, this is where I sit to play. Uh, the desks are Linman, again, from Ikea. There's the Linman that is really long that you see here. And then there's the Linman that is short that you see right there. So that is the combination of desks that I have set up. My chair is also from Ikea. I don't know how to say that, y'all. I literally pinned it to the chair because I'm like, I can't. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> and that's my little computer right there. And um, yeah, that's actually my whole craft room. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys kind of got a little bit of inspiration on how to set up your own craft room. Maybe something you find helpful. 
I hope, let me know if you like this video. My cat is somewhere, so he won't be in this video. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know that's going to disappoint a lot of people. But um, anyways, you guys, I will see you guys live on Monday. Bye. And of course, I forgot about this um, thing behind me. Um, it sits literally behind me when I'm at my desk with my computer. Um, here I have my sets of inks, and I believe this is like a cassette holder. And my inks just fit in there perfectly. These are all um, close to my heart brand. No reason, that's just what I've had forever. Uh, that's some Mod Podge, some little bags that my, I think my grandma gave me those. Um, these are my things for my camera and my hard drive, makeup, 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 and my back machine. <laughs> that gives me a little massages. And then that is a roll of wallpaper that I have to get to. So yeah, now that's it. That's it. All right, you guys, bye. <laughs> Say hi, Bobo. Say that's all, folks. Ha, ha, ha.